Okay, so now we're going to start diving into the various types of breakpoints. First up, line breakpoints. Now, everybody uses line breakpoints, and this is probably 95% of the time this is what you're using. But we'll try and teach you something new nevertheless. So we'll show you the use of the breakpoints window and how we can um, configure the line breakpoint and add a pass counter so you only hit it or only break after a certain number of times of hitting that breakpoint. We'll also start looking at the debug disassembly and show you the different step commands depending on which window is in focus. And also at the end a hint of the next breakpoint, the address breakpoint. Let's go. So we're sitting with our application and what we created in the last video. I'm going to start with setting a line breakpoint on LED toggle by clicking in the glyph margin. Now I'm going to start a debug session. So that builds for the de debug, programs the chip and starts it running. And you can see by the time I hit here that my count variable has already hit one. Okay, so now if I look at the breakpoints window, break, what I'm always going to do is look for actions. And here hit actions and I can see that here sits the breakpoint I have. I can right click and customize and for instance maybe I'd want to set a number of times that I'd want to hit this function before I break. So let's set 9 as an option and run again. Okay and you can see that we hit the breakpoint. The count value is now A which is 1 plus 9 and everything is working as expected. Okay, what I'm going to do now is start to investigate what's happening at a slightly deeper level here. And I'm going to look at one of the two disassembly windows that we have in MPLAB X. Again, looking for actions, disassembly debug. And going back to main and running again. Okay, so you can see that we have hit our breakpoint um, in LED toggle, both in the assembly and in the source. Now, actually, I don't need to have this as mine, so let's just always break again. I would like to just demonstrate that if we have the focus on the main.c window, and I, if I just step, it steps over that function. If I have in our run hit my breakpoint again, and if I have clicked on the disassembly window and I step, 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 you can see that I'm able to step there. In this context, when I'm trying to understand what's happening in the assembly here, I can also right click on LED toggle and view macro expansion. So the macro expansion basically shows what um, what the code looks like with the functions replaced as you can see that uh, essentially what that macro is at that line. Now I want to open the device data sheet, browse for a locally saved copy which I have and here's the data sheet. Now what I'm looking for is the instruction set summary. And the reason I'm looking for that is I'm wanting to understand what's happening here. Now remember from the schematics that our LED was on RA2 and so you can see that we have LAT A2 and there's a 2 going into it. Um, so lat a is happening a few times but what's happening at some of these assembly instructions and the way that we can e easily find that out is by looking at the instruction set summary and then once you're here you can you can search and you can say bit orientated skip or operation so that's some kind of test instruction 
and then you can say bit clear if and bit set if which are these here now our LED was active low so bit clear if number two I would maintain that our LED is going to our LED is going to be off when it gets to this line and turn on as we go over so if I run I hit that breakpoint my LED is off and stepping over it turns on as expected so the one thing I wanted to point out now is this here when I hover over it just says breakpoint as that is a line breakpoint and this says address and that's what we're going to be covering in the next video what is an address breakpoint